All right, welcome. My name is Rebecca Gregory. I am the Vice President of Education for Simply Organic Beauty. And today I have Wayne Lewis with me and he is the Original and Mineral Brand Director, Education Director for O&M. So welcome, Wayne. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope all is going well. We are excited. You've got a big launch today that you're going to share with us. And I'm going to share some questions as we go along, okay? Fantastic. So Q Color. We've got the a new quick clean color for men. So we're launching this today. And we've got, let me just switch the slide here for us. Awesome, there we go. So again, sticking with everything that we are with O&M, it's all about being clean. PPD, ammonia free, resourcenol free, soy free, gluten free, cruelty free and vegan. So it sits within all of our other color ranges. We've kept it as clean, as we possibly can while still being effective and working because ultimately you have to get results. So it sticks with our, our commitment to clean color technology for ourselves, our environment, and also for our clients and our customers. Perfect. So let's go into what makes it up. What is this clean color technology? And tell us about the gel-based color. Okay. So the product that we use is something called Terrain. So this is been used for men's hair loss for a very long time and now it's moving into women's hair loss as well. Ultimately what it is, it's an amino acid that helps to sort of like not only deposit and deliver colour to the hair, it helps to thicken it up and it helps to sort of like regrowth. This taurine is actually found in the body naturally. What we use is a man-made taurine. The reason we do that is because the only way to actually get it like um, that is not natural is through animals. So because we are vegan, we don't use it that way. But this is ultimately the easiest way for it to be used onto the hair to have the, the properties that we need to deliver the colour, but also look about strengthening the hair follicle, making sure that we keep the condition of hair. And what it will help to do is stimulate hair growth as well. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And I see that it's also very quick. We can get coverage in less than 10 minutes. We can indeed. So we talk about uh, quick grey cover in 10 minutes. I believe that we should start with five minutes. I've been using this for a long time and I really do think that five minutes is pretty much all we need to start with. I I've got great cover on a lot of male clients in five minutes. So to Perfect. start with, I always think start slow and steady and I think five minutes is the key way to go allow the colour to build up. And you may find that on the second or third visit for, for your male clients, they might want to go a little longer. But for me, I think five minutes is the perfect starting point for any colour for men. Perfect. Well, then we have, whoops, where we are on here. Now, we, I know we're going to break into a little bit of the actual ingredients that make this happen too, starting with this organic macadamia oil. Yes, so we do try and include lots and lots of sort of like um, organic um, ingredients into any of our hair colours. So what we've done here is use the macadamia oil because it is nourishing. Um, it helps to sort of protect the skin while we're actually colouring. But what it also does is it almost sort of like in, envelops the, the hair cuticle to really make sure that that colour gets deposited. One of the other really amazing things too, um, with the both the macadamia oil and the taurine is that it actually they're both anti-inflammatory so you're going to find that for men's hair color there's going to be no nothing on the scalp a lot of times the men's hair color because it's a quick acting product they do find that it gets a little bit irritating or it's a little bit tingly on their scalp and, and in many respects most men because they're not used to having hair color anything that tingles their scalp it, it scares them or they're in a little bit of shock so what we've done is we've put the technology in there so you're really sort of like, you know, causing no irritation, nothing at all on the scalp. So it's a really, it's, it's almost like a shampoo with some colour in it. That's what it feels like on the scalp. Yeah, it sounds like a treatment as well almost. Yes, indeed. So, you know, you, you're helping to sort of like look after the condition of hair. You're helping to sort of like, you know, strengthen hair, but you're mm -hmm. depositing colour at the same time. Perfect. And, and quickly. Very, very quickly. One of the things I, I would really like to push here is when people mix the colour, mm -hmm. mix it with a, a whisk. 
because it will be like a gel-like colour and you will the product will go further. You only need a small amount of colour. It doesn't require a lot. So I tend to sort of like look at mixing 10 grams of colour to, you know, your 15 of your activator because it will go a long way. If you mix it with a whisk, you will get it, you know, you're going to get a lot of colour in there. And a, and a lot of men, they don't need a lot of colour on the hair. A little bit goes a long way with this particular product. Certainly. Uh, and it sounds like a perfect gel-like consistency so they can do it at the back basin. Shampoo 100%. I, I find that with men's hair colour, the way that sort of like the, the world is changing, men want to have colour, but a lot of them don't want to sit next to other clients while they're having colour. They want it to be their their little secret that, you know, sure. they don't have grey hair. <laughs> so, so what we've, we've done is develop this product so that you're literally doing it at the basin. It's, it's not going to add much more time onto any service whatsoever. So if a man comes in, you can basically say, while you're at the basin having a shampoo, I can put this on for five minutes and you're going to see the benefits straight away. So to me, that's what men want. They don't want to sit around with, you know, next to a lot of different people having hair colour. They want it to be their little secret and that's what we're allowing them to do. So it's not something where they feel like, oh, I'm having a lady colour. This is not a lady colour. This is a colour that is designed specifically for men. Neat. And then, you know, geeking out a little bit more on some of these ingredients, tell me more about this pepper fruit extract. Okay, so what this ultimately is doing is helping to sort of like, it, it, it's, it almost sort of like um, helps to uh, cause circulation through the scalp and cause circulation through, you know, even though we know the hair is not is dead once it gets past, you know, the scalp, it's helping to stimulate the growth underneath. So ultimately what it's designed to do is help to sort of like um, renew cells and sort of like really start to promote hair growth and, and cause sort of like a bit of stimulation on the hair. So you, you're really trying to push and make sure that you're keeping hair and you're keeping the condition of hair in the best possible way you can. Wow, and it's promoting hair growth. So we've got quite a few ingredients here that are actually promoting that. And I know a lot of men are concerned about hair loss a lot as well, so that's Look, cool. Even if they're not concerned with hair loss, mm -hmm. Able to, being able to tell your clients that this is going to sort of like hold on to what you've got is mm -hmm. going to be a big benefit. Men don't want to talk about hair loss. So what right. we're doing is we're doing something that they don't even realise is going to be beneficial for them in the end of the day. This is something that's going to help to keep what hair they have and promote hair growth if they are losing it at all. Nice. So then I think that there's some other neat ingredients that we were going to discuss um, as involved in this Q-Color. We've got the actual, it has a specific developer, I see. It does. So it's a 4.5% or a 15 mm -hmm. volt. This okay. goes along with all of our activators that are within the core color as far as we have organic coconut and macadamia oil in there. Um, oh. this, this, it's, really, it's a really nice feeling activator to use, but mm -hmm. this is specifically designed to be used with the Q-Color. So, you know, it, it's not designed for any other product. There are just the, this activator and the colours work together. It's a liquid, so it is quite liquidy. So I do suggest that, you know, you get a feel for it before you, you pour it out. A small amount goes a long way. So right. beware that it is a liquid, so you don't need to use a lot. And that it makes it such a nice consistency with the organic coconut and macadamia oil too when you mix. It does indeed. And, and what you're doing, you're, you're keeping sort of like the integrity of the condition of the hair and of the scalp. Because men, you know, as I said before, men who are not used to hair colour, if they feel anything on their scalp straight away, they're going to freak out and think something's wrong. So what we need to do is make it as easy as possible to, to, to blend them through into hair colour, which ultimately is going to mean more money for us in salon, but then also hooks them in as a client for us for, the, you know, for the rest of, you know, while they're grey, which right. is for a long time. Right. <laughs> and then um, I know that this technology with this unique activator working with the pigment um, makes it just a deposit. And it, that's what is, since it's not truly giving you like a lot of lift with that pigment, um, you're actually able to keep it a natural tone and and more uh, like a cooler base versus warm, which is typically exactly. what I want to steer away from, right? This has been designed with men in mind. And the reason I say that is a lot of typical hair colours will go 
gingery, we'll go red, we'll go orangey. It, it, it puts underlying pigments into the hair or brings out underlying pigments that most men, the first thing they don't want to do is look like they've got their hair coloured. So this is designed to be very cool and very flat. They're like blue-green based colours. So we've okay. kept them very, very cool. The activator is designed to basically open the cuticle, put the colour in, but not release any of the underlying pigments in the hair. That's ultimately what we're trying to do is keep the hair looking as natural and as cool as we possibly can. Men's hair may throw a little warmth naturally, but what we've designed this product to do is keep it as cool as possible because for most men, they don't want to look like they've coloured their hair and we're trying to keep it as their, their little secret ultimately. Right, and we don't consider it progressive either because anything progressive is more like the Grecian formula that just keeps getting darker and darker and darker either. Exactly. Well, well, this is designed literally as a five or ten minute processing time and you're doing something like this maybe every four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, something like that. I How I've found it super, super beneficial is mm -hmm. to start off just doing the sides. Like a lot of men are okay with a bit of grey through the top but right. they get that sort of like bulk of grey through the sides and that's what really starts to worry them. Mm -hmm. So just painting it on the sides for five minutes will really make that big difference for them. Well, let's look at the shades. Yep, perfect. Well, Here we go. We have kept it simple. <laughs> four shades, that's all we've got with four, five, six, seven. Now for anybody that knows the core colour range, what I want to like, you know, try and get everybody to think about how this would look in the core colour range. This will be like a 0.11. So these are going to be very flat and very cool colours. And we've designed them so that there's no warmth coming through. It's going to be very natural looking. So it's not going to make them look green or blue or anything like that. But what it's not going to do on the flip side is make them look orange or red or anything like that. So we've got a four, a five, a six and a seven. Now, what I want everybody to think about and really take away from this, if there's one thing you listen to and really take away, mm -hmm. make sure that you go a shade lighter than you normally would on their first application. Say so that again. Go one shade lighter than you normally than, than what they are. So if your client walks in and he's a four, use a five on him. If he's a six, use a seven. Always go a shade lighter. Okay. You will find that for the first, basically what you want to do is, is get the colour in there to begin with for five minutes and then on their next visit you can start to assess it from there because I think you will find with most men it needs to be done naturally and softly so that they're not going from 100% grey today to mm -hmm. a level four tomorrow. So always jump up a shade and you will get the best result you possibly can. And what's really cool is, you know, I see how we have it gradiated for the five to ten minutes. So you're almost getting eight results. We're you are. Mm -hmm. Because some men will want to blend and some men will want to cover. But what I found in sort of like playing with it for quite a while is that literally you, your five minute timing is going to give you the perfect result. Like some men, if they've got super resistant hair, you might want to go to the ten. But I really see this as a quick colour. That's why it's Q colour. So I think your five minutes is your perfect place to start. Okay. So then, let's see. I, I know we're going to walk through how to use, and I know we can always break the rules, but I, I think today we're just going to really <laughs> stick to the rules, right? <laughs> okay. Look, everybody loves to break the rules. And, and in salon, I know everybody is going to break the rules in their own way. Mm -hmm. my, my personal belief is start off following the rules once you know the rules and once you know how the product actually works. It's like I always think, once you see a 4.0 on somebody, then you'll get an idea of where it actually sits. So to, to all of us, a 4.0 may look a little different, but when you're talking about this colour, a 4.0 is going to look cooler and deeper in order to maintain the integrity of the hair and the depth of the hair. We don't want to see any warmth coming through. It's not a colour that is designed to sort of like add any sort of like lift or anything like that. It's it's really a deposit. And because it's so flat, it will look deeper, which is why I suggest going up a shade. And then when you're talking about your mixing, always mix with a whisk. So you, you and it's a one to one and a half mix. So let's start with 10 grams of colour, 15 of activator, 
remember that it is a very liquidy product. So mixing it with a whisk will give you the best result. So you shampoo hair, towel dry, then apply at the basin. With the color activator chosen for it. Correct. So you need to use the activator that comes with it. It is designed to be working as a team. They're just, basically, this is going to give you quick color activation. If you don't use this activator, you're not going to get the right application. It's not going to deposit correctly and you won't get the coolness and, and the length out of it that you need. So wash and towel dry hair. So very, very important that when you shampoo, use something like detox, cleanse the hair, then apply to where you need the colour to be. A lot of times it's only going to be through the side, so you're not going to need a lot of colour. I, I find personally, let the gentleman, let the, your client sit at the basin while it's applying. It's five minutes. Most of them are happy just to lie there for five minutes and it's just easier for us to have them just lying there for five minutes. And sure. then you're going to shampoo and condition from there. It's a great time too to you know talk to them about maybe other you know shaving services or something like that while you've got them if you happen to do any of those in your salon because you've got his attention right there at the shampoo bowl too. Exactly. Let them always know the products that you're using on them. A lot of times we think that men are not going to buy a shampoo and a conditioner because oh yeah they're going to do something at the gym or whatever it might be but men like to be you know talk, talk to about products they want to know what to mm -hmm. use and how to use it and one of the things that i think a lot of times we forget with our male clients is they may have a product that they have at work they may have another like tub of product that they have for the gym they might leave something in their car and something at home a lot of men buy multi products to leave them at different places if they've got their own apartment and their partner's apartment they might have they might need two sets mm -hmm. so don't be afraid to sort of like sell up to them because men love products it's just we don't always give them the the, the push that we do with a lot of our our female clients but men really do love a product and you know they may have multi places that they leave them let's let's get them sort of like into the products as much as we possibly can well I see in step three also you're saying bottle application I know I've done it both ways and it was I was quite successful with it so I, I see that there but it does it is once you whisk, use the whisk for it it does thicken up well enough for you to use bowl and brush or it does go nicely through a bottle application too I always think that so like depending on how much gray they have is mm -hmm. if you would use a bowl and a brush or an applicator I, I, I found that a lot of times uh, with the with the sides I just put it directly on with a bowl and a brush because I just think that's easier. If mm -hmm. I'm doing a virgin application, then I might want to put it on with my bottle application because I can get it through quickly. And the whole thing with this is the timing. Like I don't want anybody to run late because they're, you know, doing a, a, an add-on service to any client. So this literally should be shampoo, mix colour, apply, time for five minutes, you know, and I always think five minutes is the way to go to start with. And then from their shampoo condition, then they're ready for their haircut. So you're really looking at like an extra maximum of eight minutes by the time you mix, apply, rinse. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times I'll do their haircut first even. And once you're ready to rinse off those little baby hairs, it's a perfect time to just wash, towel dry, and then go into your mix. They can leave, style them out. Um, you know, because obviously you want to cut off whatever you're not going to be working with either. That's exactly right. So look, in all honesty, everybody that knows me knows that I don't cut hair. Colour is my thing. So I do know that a lot of a lot of people prefer to cut men's hair first before mm -hmm. they actually apply their colour. It gives them a much better indication of, you know, where it needs to be. And you're not wasting product. Ultimately, this is about right. sort of like making money, not wasting money. So there's no point in putting colour onto hair that doesn't need it if you're going to cut it off. Right, and you do get a lot out of each tube. I mean, I know the tubes are um, a little smaller, but gosh, you get a lot of applications because of that, you know? And that's why you find that with the, the activator, it is more liquidy, so once it's mixed up, it mm -hmm. tends to go a lot further. You don't need a lot of colour. That's the whole thing. Because of the, the technology is all about, we're depositing colour onto hair, we're able to do it in a way that keeps the hair cool and flat, but what you're also doing is you're getting quick adhesion to the colour. So mm. that's why your two, your two products are designed together. You've got your sort of like, you know, ultimately the, 
the products are joining together, the colour is joining together, it's grabbing onto the hair quickly, and so it's mm -hmm. a big out service. So you, you're getting sort of like a pretty big bang for your buck in this respect. Well, um, also, when you're, when you're working, I see someone's asking here, um, you know, since men wash their hair every day, how many shampoos do you think that this would actually last them? 20. Okay. It all, it's like, obviously, you know, men, men's hair is coarser, but that's why we've designed this product to work with the right activator, because it is really going to get that kick of deposit in there. And that's why, you know, we've used the Chlorine in there in order for it to hold onto the hair and grab onto the hair and hold for longer. So that's what this has been designed to do. So 20 shampoos is pretty much what you're going to get out of it. It's, it's more like, a, a, I think it's like a demi for men. Okay. And then I know they're asking, um, you know, are you really having to shampoo twice before and after because, you know, and then they're also asking if you have to shampoo with what's, what's the O&M detox shampoo after you color, will that really start to strip the color out? Can you explain okay. that? One, all of our, all of the O&M shampoos are 100% color safe. So then they will not take color out. The reason we would always start off with detox is ultimately that's our shampoo that prepares the hair for mm -hmm. a colour service or for anything like that that we're doing, for a blowout, for anything. So what you're doing, you're getting rid of any of the like the, the muck off the hair, the day-to-day -day life, the sweat, whatever it might be off the hair. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that hair prepped and ready to be able to hold and take the colour the best way possible. I would always shampoo after colour to make sure that there's no residual left on the hair. And you've got to remember that with a non-ammonia colour, you don't want this colour to sort of like stay on for too long and go too dark or anything like that. So this is designed ultimately to make sure that you're getting that hit of colour and then you're stopping it instantly. Let's see if there's any other questions that I want to like speak of while we're on this. Um, going back to the levels and, and such that we spoke of that we're offering, if they are lighter than a seven, for example, would you only leave it on? They're asking for three minutes instead. I would do a much quicker time. So I would look at a two to three minute processing time and work from there. Okay. On the flip side of that, when you're talking about a gentleman who is sitting on a level you know, an eight, a nine or anything like that, you will probably find that because of the coolness of the core colour, they may be cool to go over to the cool, to the core colour because they're going to have some underlying warmth in their hair naturally. So if you use like a, a, a 0.1 or a 0.11 in the core, in the core colour, you'll get the perfect result on them. Great. And then I know um, they're also asking if we are going to be formulating any lighter levels in the future for men that are maybe a blonde or a strawberry blonde, et cetera. Okay. That may be something in the, the future. We haven't looked at that at the moment. So what we've literally looked at is, is developing these four shades. We've tried to mm -hmm. keep it simple, but there is, is very possibly a level eight on the way. Okay. Nine Exciting. possibly not, but but, but eight yeah. is something that you know is 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 on the cards. Nine. Once we start to sit with a nine, because of the underlying sort of like pigment or the the undercoat of the hair, uh, any of the core colour that you use on a level nine with an ash or a so like a, a much cooler reflect will work on a man's hair no problems at all. Okay, so that leads me into saying, you know, does it fade completely out without a haircut, or does it leave a residual colour like some of the fashion colours do? Okay, you will find that you will always have some depth of colour left in the hair. It will never 100% fade out. Um, what you will find is you will have sort of like a, a more toned, where they're silver or grey, you'll have a more toned colour, but it will never 100%. Because of the, the actual sort of like ingredients in the product, what it's designed to do is leave that coating onto the hair so that mm -hmm. it doesn't sort of like release the pigments or the warmth coming through. But no, it will never 100% come out until it's it, it's cut out. Well, what I found interesting, because of course, you know, here in tech, we had to really play with all of the different things that people would be asking when they start to break the rules. And, you know, we, of course, tried different developers out of the core brand. Um, and I did see that it started, it, it could leave a little bit of warmth because you are actually changing up the developer that it was intended to be used with. 
and you're, you could get a little bit of a lift and therefore you would see the warmth. But when you're working with the specific developer that came with this men's cue color, you know, you are truly getting deposits so that you can work with the blue green bases of the shades and not have the residual warmth left over as you would other typical hair colors. And that's what it's men don't like anyway. So I, I just found anytime I found that the fade came back, it was perfect. It was never warm because of the developer choice in my opinion. Exactly. And that's what it's been designed to do. With men's hair, because it's a little coarser, you need a little sort of like kick to get the colour in there, but you don't want to kick it so much so that what you're doing is releasing that underlying pigment. It, they have been designed to work together. Ultimately, that's why we've done it. So we've developed the activator and the colour to work as a team so that men get that coolness, that flatness, but they get that grey blend coming through 100%. And you can see that here on the screen. This is one of our models that we worked with. And we actually, of course, you know, trying to break all the rules and trying to see what, to push the product to the fullest capacity and see what else, you know, we could do with it. We, we worked with this model. You can see on the left the before and then the right after. And we did do what you mentioned where we painted through the sides first. And you can see the coverage is not warm at all. It's really nice level five. And we only left it on for seven minutes. Now, We've played with the same model in the, through the weeks, and we definitely, at five minutes, it was perfect. You know, 10, I'm sure, would just have gotten darker, and that's not what we were looking for anyway, because you can see on, and on the sides is where he's really, truly gray. Yeah, the thing is, well, you can already see in the before and after shot, he looks so much happier not having that gray hair on the side. He's even smiling a little bit, so that's a positive. But what I always say, start off with your five minutes, blend it through, because it's easier to build the color up than it is to go from sort of like all that grey and then seeing, uh, you know, blanket cover. So five minutes to me is the easiest way. And the thing is, if a gentleman comes in and says they want to blend it through, paint it through roughly. Don't paint it all the hair. Just like paint in sort of like, you know, light strokes. So you're only covering some of the hair, not all of the hair. Nice. So I think these results were super great. I mean, and he is so happy because we did used to use – uh, regular hair color on him and we just use a, a different developer to get him sort of a demi look but yeah. it seemed to fade warm every time and he he truly has not had that problem and plus he's thrilled because it's a it's quick <laughs> yeah look no most men if it's five minutes it's not it's not really a big sort of like problem for them because they're not used to hair color they don't understand going to the salon, sitting down. You know, it's meant to be a relaxing, calm thing, but a lot of men don't see it that way. This is something that they, it's like, oh, it's a torture, I have to do it. So what we're trying to do it is, is mean that it's gonna be easy for them to have this service done, but it's not gonna take time out of their day. Wonderful, so um, sort of some of the benefits we've we've brought up, but I, I think if you could review a couple of them for some people that are coming and joining us a little bit later than start. Yep, it's quick. Ultimately, it's a five to 10 minute service. I always say, start off with five and work from there. That's why we've called it Q color, it's quick. Um, ultimately, when we talk about renewing the youthful appearance, it is designed to help strengthen the hair, condition the hair, and help to sort of like, ultimately, regrow hair. So that's that's what sort of like, you know, the Chirene is, is in there for. It's helping to give it that sort of like, youthful appearance. The colours are natural. So ultimately what we've done is we've designed them so that they don't have warmth in them. They're designed to be very cool and very flat. So what that means to men is that when it goes onto their hair, they're not going to see reds, they're not going to see gingers, they're not going to see the colours that they say, that, that look like men have coloured their hair. And when it fades, you will find that it fades very natural. So it will never fade off to what, what they started with, but it's going to fade very sort of like cool and flat, so it just gets softer and softer looking for them. Um, ultimately, you know, it's about strengthening the hair. Now, doesn't have a build up effect over the hair. So what, what, when we're talking about that is just do your regrowth. Don't, don't be taking it roots to ends every time. It's very important. And for most men, they're cutting their hair every four to six weeks, which a lot of times, if you're doing through the sides or through the back, that's most of the hair coming off. So it's literally a colour that you can apply each time. But ultimately, this colour is designed to last about 20 shampoos. If you put it on for five minutes, you'll get a little bit more out of it if you go on for 10. But I would always start with five. And when we talk about clean colour and sensitive, 
these products are designed to keep the hair in the best condition, but also so that the scalp doesn't get any irritation. As, as I said before, men get a little bit freaked out if they feel anything on the scalp because they're not used to it. Yeah. So what we've done, we've put products in there, sort of like with, with our oils and things like that, the coconut oil, the macadamia oil, all these have been designed to ultimately sort of like make sure that the, the hair and the scalp, there's no, you know, um, inflammatory sort of like situation, there's no tingling, there's there's nothing like that. So that's what we've, you know, really made as our benefits for the Q colour. So I've got a question there asking here, um, talking about going into the core colour with the clear. Can you add the clear to any of these shades to lighten? You can, but you will find that the grey cover will be reduced quite a lot. Yeah, so. So, like, so yeah almost by half. So you, you, you're going to get an even much, much softer blend of the colour coming through. Okay. Let's see. Um, I, there's a question here about staining the skin, but we're going to get to that in just one second. So um, I know we wanted to really speak to the business of Q Colour for Men because this is really evolving so quickly in our, our, in our beauty industry, right? 100%. Like you, you're looking at, so like, you know, barbering and all those sort of things are really, really popping up and they're so much more popular. And, and what we're finding now is that men are really taking sort of like notice of what's going on and they're asking for things. Or do you have something that will just sort of like, you know, make me look a bit younger, that will blend the grey? So, so what we're trying to do is introduce, yes, we do have something like that. This is not sort of like, you know, but I, oh, I don't want the product, the colour that my mother has. This, this is something that I've been faced with, you know, I don't want the colour my mother has. This is not a colour for your mum. This is a colour that's specifically designed for you. Perfect. So I know here it's, we talked about the perception of men that it's changing so rapidly. I know I typically can apply a woman's uh, a lady's color, and then I will make, do a men's haircut. But this is actually now increasing that little window um, because men are coming in looking for this, or ladies are sending their men in to us, you know? And so it's really been driving the market. I mean, every hair show I go to, there's more barbers and more barbers, and it's really um, super, super, it's just the market is just extreme. So if we can add something like this to just that quick service, it, it, it will increase our revenue just exactly financially and exactly and what this has been designed to do this is designed for people that don't necessarily want to have to think about okay my gentleman's coming in and he's going to throw a lot of warmth so what do i need to put in there to counteract that this is a one-stop color this is designed for men knowing that they're going to throw a lot of warmth so ultimately this has got the color built in so that it will neutralize the warmth and make them look natural so this is a no you don't have to think about it it's already been thought about for you so that when you apply it you're not going to throw warmth you're not going to throw red nothing is going to come through to make it look like colored hair nice or even better or it's yeah. not going to look like that grecian formula so it's like they're wearing a hat <laughs> so. yeah, and that's the thing it, it it can't look fake it can't look because the, the a man will never ever color their hair again if somebody right. you know jokes at them and says oh you know no you can't tell because a lot of those colors you can tell because they use them too often this is a you know once every four week color so that mm -hmm. as it starts to soften out you can then put it back in and it pushes in a little bit more but it's not going to make them go from a level sort of like, you know, 100% grey to a level 2.0. That's why we talk about the five minutes and that's why we talk about blending rather than maximum cover. Let them step into it without having too much. Someone's asking um, what if they're 100% grey? Okay, then that's where you might want to put it on to uh, for 10 minutes. So you might want to actually up the timing um, mm -hmm. depending on how much cover they want from the colour. We and also, have... don't, be, don't be scared to mix your colours. You know, you might want to put like a uh, a five on the side and you mm -hmm. might want to do a six or a seven through the top, depending on how you want the strength of colour to be. Don't be scared to mix it like that. Do something uh, different for the sides, something lighter through the top. That's smart too. Makes it even more natural looking. Now, I see with it being cooler, someone's asking if it's going to stain scalp or skin. And I know that's been asked now several times, so we might as well just jump into the staining effect of the colour. Okay, yes. This is a product because it has a, a quick turnaround time, a quick processing time. It's mm -hmm. designed to boom, 
get into that hair. So I would always put some sort of barrier cream and oil. Uh, Simply Organic have their, their new product, which is basically, you know, to prevent staining. That you can use around the hairline. You can use your Vaseline, anything like that. Even, you know, if you don't want to have a specific product, you can put a conditioner around the hairline. Sure. But it definitely, you know, it does stain. It's it the pigment does stain. you're working with, you know? Because it's so flat, you've got it. You've got that sort of like all that cool pigment in there that it will stain onto skin. So I would always say, be careful with your application. So then another great fact is by 2024, all of the grooming market for men is estimated at 29.14 billion US dollars. That's a huge shift in the pampering culture for the, for our guys. Exactly. So why not? get it started now within salon. The whole thing is they're asking for it. They want it. So we should be bringing that into our, you know, our area rather than saying, oh, no, we don't do this, we don't do that. You know, and the thing is if we do it specifically for men, then they feel like, oh, okay, this is just for me. It's not, you know, like I said before, it's not my mum's colour. It's not my girlfriend's colour. This has been designed for mm. them. So we're just opening the door for them to make it easier. And if once they start to have colour, like any of our, our regular clients, once they start to have colour, they're hooked in. They're not going to go and let somebody else play around with their colour because if it goes wrong, it goes wrong big time. So once you've got that client hooked in for colour, you're going to have them hooked in for life. So here we go. Um, we did some research and we found, and we did this over seven year time. So that's the average of time they remain as our salon clients for seven years. And that's just simple haircuts. So yep. they're typically, we rebook them. I usually rebook every four weeks. You know, the average would be 3.8, you know, so depending on how short they like it or whatnot. But 81% of all salons don't even focus on men's marketing at all, which is they're losing out big time. Um, I know that even like we show here, 43% of men who receive color services do it every single haircut. So that's like adding 43% to your average income every, every month. I mean, that's huge. And that's why, you know, we need to talk about it with them. You know, I have this product which is just designed for you. This has been a, developed just for men, you know, because then they're like, oh, okay, so it's just for me, which ultimately they're not scared of because they don't want to look like they've got, you know, what I I keep going back to this, but they don't want to look like they've got lady colour on. And, and that's what scares them. They're scared that they're going to look like they have coloured hair. So once we start to present that we have a, a product that's specifically designed for you, then they're more open to having it done. Yeah, and you don't need to spend a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of product, so you're already winning. And here I, I did a little cost app per application. So on average, and this is including the developer with it too. It's only we're only it's only costing about four dollars, four and a half dollars to apply this, and that's you know that's not using a lot of product. The average service time is ten minutes, and that's with the shampoo, with the you know towel dry everything. And so you're if you charged a mere twenty dollars and i still think that's low personally but it depends on the demographic you're in um and then your average haircut cost for men which is extremely low but once again it's average um you know you're thirty dollars so if you consider the fact that you've got someone coming in once a month you can add to your annual in a revenue per client that's per client almost two thousand dollars i mean when we know that the average client lifetime value is increasing by that, I mean, you're going up 67%. I mean, just by adding this service to your offerings, it's crazy. And the thing is, it's such a quick time to actually turn around an extra 20, 30, you know, like there are salons that, you know, like we've been testing this product. So I can tell you there are some salons who are literally charging $70 as a turnaround for this color, simply because it's quick, it gets their clients in and out in no time, but also it's a very sort of like a quick service and it's ultimately going to give them a very natural appearance. So, you know, you, you can charge whatever you want because ultimately what you're looking at is something that is specifically designed for men that you have that nobody else has at the moment. Right, and you're offering a premium product. This isn't something with, I mean, all the ingredients that we mentioned in the beginning, you know, helping with their hair, you know, increase the stimulation, soothing, all of those things. You've got a premium product, quick, and then you're adding that per client to your, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, just think about is, all the men well, I... Customizing it. 
Yeah, yep. you're customising it to them. If they go and buy one of those home colours, which a lot of men, of course, they don't want to talk about having hair colour, they'll do it at home themselves. When they do a home hair colour, it just is a disaster. So you're customising this colour to suit them. You might mix half four, half five. You might mm -hmm. mix six and seven. But ultimately, you're doing something which is like, you know, they're in and out maximum of the 10 minutes. So that to most men is, is you know, dollar per dollar. It's, mm -hmm. it's something they don't have to mess around with at home and it's going to look good. I know that even going into supermarkets, I mean, they're the boxes of like non-premium hair color, let's just say to be nice, yep. um, is, is, is at least that expensive and they it's, have to do it themselves. They leave there looking like they're wearing a hat and they've got it all over their neck and they can't go to work like that. <laughs> So, I mean, it's just, this is simple math and simple to um, to offer. I mean, it's, it's perfect. And what I like to say with that is it's like we always talk about with sort of like ammonia-free hair colours, which, you know, and that's what we're all about. We're all about being clean. Many years ago, people were laughing, oh, nobody's going to have ammonia-free, you know, this or that, or does it work? And then there was, you know, now what you're seeing is the amount of men's hair colours that are going into stores is increasing. So obviously there's a demand for it. So what we're doing is we're just introducing it to people so it's easier for us to sort of like get our clients in so that they just feel that it's just part of their everyday, every time they come in, they have, you know, a, a, some colour through the sides or a bit of a colour blend and they have a haircut at the same time. Boom, there's your thing. So what you even want to do is you might want to come up with a special pricing if they do that every time. It might be sort of like you build in that price. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They can do like a men's club even, you know? Exactly, yep. So let's get to some FAQs. I know we've got a lot of uh, questions coming up and I know that we were planning on answering these in the FAQs. So um, while I'm watching some of these questions come through, let's start with these first ones. So. Um, You've got, can Q color be used on women? I've got someone also asking that in the forum right now. Okay. Why, only, why only men? Okay. The reason I would not, I tend to not use it on women is because it's designed to be very flat and very cool. So if you use it on hair that's too fine, it may end up looking a lot darker on them. So it, it can be used on women. Like let's, let's be, you know, you know, equal to everybody. It can be used on women, but it's been specifically designed to look cool and to look very flat. So for a lot of women, it may look to sort of like drab looking on their hair. Just because of the amount of warmth that comes through on, on a man's hair, it, it tends to be quite different to a woman. Uh, and, the, and the coarseness through the sides tends on men tends to be much stronger. It can be used on women, but ultimately because of the, you know, the formulation and the coolness of the colour, it, it, it's more designed to be used on men. Well, and our skin types are different too. You know, if you've got yes. a, a male skin tone when you're working with cooler bases, it's different than if you put a cool base on a woman. Yeah. Look, if you've got Mary who's a 2-0, I was 2-0, 3-0, even a 4-0, I'd say, yep, go for it. You know, get her in and out in no time at all. But for some women, you know, they're, they're not sitting around. They might actually like to sit there and process the colour through for longer because right. for some people it is about, you know, just having personal time. Correct, correct. And then um, one, one uh, person that's on today joining us, they're asking if they have a client that is a level eight and a half that they usually use an 8.1 with a 10 volume deposit. Um, what would you do in this case if, using, if switching over to, to the Q colour? I would do the 8O in the queue and I'd put it on for five minutes. Perfect. Keep it simple. It's it's literally going to so like give you a very, very similar result, but five minutes, no longer. I do want to back up real quick, if you don't mind, um, to where we were talking about the steps and we were shampooing first. Um, yes. Someone's asking, are you going to use the detox shampoo for that step as well in the beginning? I would always use the detox to start with, yes, because it prepares the hair. Make sure there's nothing on there so you're going to get an even distribution of colour. Great. Okay, thank you. I'm going to move into this one. Uh, what sort of, based off of that, what shampoo and conditioner do you recommend post-service then? Okay, I would tend to always go for something uh, like detox. I would go for maintain. Fine. I, I think that most men don't really need to go to hydrate and conquer because most men will put products in their hair that give them the feel they want. Most okay. men use a shampoo just to cleanse. 
but mm -hmm. they put the products in to give them the feel they want. Whereas women tend to use a shampoo and conditioner to give them the feel that they want, but men tends to use styling products to give them that feel. So I think you can keep on using detox. Um, a lot of men don't even use a conditioner, to be quite honest. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of men out there that don't, but I would always use your maintain uh, and you're fine on them. No, I think it's it's just it's a little deceiving. We call it detox, and people always think it's just stripping. And you know, it's truly a lovely cleansing um, shampoo because of the peppermint, the river mint. It's also kind of like, you know, it feels really good on the scalp, and especially yeah. men love that. Exactly, it's stimulating without sort of like stripping, and that's the whole thing. I suppose that detox does have this connotation that it strips the hair. Mm -hmm. What it really is is basically preparing the hair for sort of like the next service. So it's it's just, it's it's like, you know, cleansing the face. It, it's like a cleanser for the hair. So just that takes off anything that doesn't need to be there, but doesn't upset sort of like the oil balance or the pH or anything like that. It really is designed to just set the hair and get the hair ready for the next, whatever's gonna happen next. Perfect. So then what happens uh, if the color's on longer than that 10 minutes? It is going to go darker. It is going to be a progressive color. You have to watch this. This has been designed so that ultimately it, it, it's, you know, it's going to be a quick acting color, but if you leave it on for too long, you will get more depth coming through. So that's why your timing is super important. And that's like with any ammonia free color as well. You know, if you leave it on for too much longer, you will get a little bit more deposit coming through with this, because it's a five minute, like 10 minute, get it on, get it off type of color. You know, it's ultimately start timing as soon as that colour gets on there. Don't be timing it after you've gone out and made a coffee for the client. Time it straight away. Yeah. Well, I think we have to be a little careful too. When you're when you're calling it progressive, you're just meaning that it gets more solid coverage, but not like exactly. the progressive lead acetate types of products that are exactly. out there that they exactly. also refer to as progressive. It's different. You just mean, you know, that it's going more solid and you're getting more depth. You're so not going to get that variation of color coming through. It's going to be right. more blanket rather than softness. Great. So we talked about this a little bit, but let's just remind everyone that definitely use a barrier cream. You can just do something simple. It doesn't have to be a long, tedious task. Just get something that's going to, you know, prevent the staining because it is with that pigment molecule. It will stain. That's it. It's it's meant to deposit. So. Yeah. There are so many ways of doing this. Conditioner, you know, you can use a Vaseline. You can even use Frizzy Logic or something like that. You just want to put that light barrier between the hairline and the skin, and that would it would make the world's biggest difference. Okay, so let's move to the next FAQ. Um, is Q color free from ammonia and PPDs too? Of course it is. We would never go back on anything like that. Our mission is always to keep hair as clean as we possibly can keep it um, and not put any sort of like things in that don't need to be in there. So ultimately what we've done, Q Colour is a variation of core colour in the respect that we keep it ammonia free, PPD. -free. It's as clean as we can possibly make it while still working because nobody wants to put you know stuff on their hair that doesn't need to be there. So right. yes, we are 100% free from. Good. And that, that's sort of our standard here, too, when we're working with beauty products here at Simply Organic Beauty. So that's when we brought this on with you. Um, it's our commitment to do that. So that's that's all we stand by. So it's perfect. Well, that's exactly right. You guys are not going to, you know, as a company, you know, Simply Organic is not going to stock things uh, because it's, you know, oh, this is the, the thing that the marketplace is wanting but then it's going to have adverse effects on all of our other sort of ranges. We, we've got to keep within the within the boundaries and keep it clean and free from, which is what, you know, you guys do with Simply Organic, what O&M does. You know, it's, it's very important that we keep that up. The perfect partnership that way. And, yes. and so we've also brought this color in from you um, being gluten-free and soy-free. So once again, keeping with that allergen-friendly um, formula. Yeah, exactly. And that's why as a, as a company, we have the, the Peter tick of approval. You know, we're cruelty free, we're vegan. You know, it, it's not sort of like, um, we're, we're, we're not trying to sort of like get around it. We're trying to keep it clean and not only good for our bodies, but good for us as hairdressers because we're applying this every single day. So we need to look after our bodies as well as looking after our clients. But we don't need to, you know, kill things to go into hair colour. It need, We need to look after our environment. We need to look after one another. It, it needs to, you know, be 
the world looking after itself. And that's what we, we're doing. Yeah, and everyone is getting to be more conscious of that. So they're looking for products like that, which is what attracts them to us. So yes. it's, a, it's perfect. And um, I'm going to jump back a little bit because I see someone just joined us and they're asking if in, in men that are balding on top but have that gray hair on the sides, how bad is the stain going to be? Um, it, it's, it, it shows for sure. Well, yes, yeah, so that's why I would put that little bit of barrier cream through there and I would paint it on lightly. So just, it's it's all about your application. So like, I, it, it's what I call the fryer tuck. You know where they've got that bald part on the top and they've got color through the sides? Just paint it up softly through the top. Don't do an aggressive paint of color through there or paint it down. So paint the sides back and then paint the top down so that you're keeping it off the top. And at the very end, when you finish and start processing your time, just wipe around with a towel to get rid of any of that excess color. It'll be softer and it will look better. And that's why I do love working with a bowl and brush. It is lovely to put something in a bottle and have, have a quick application that way. But when you're working with this, a true artist would really not go in with solid lines anyway. They would use their brush to kind of circulate back. So it looks like hair going on in the first place. Exactly. And that's with sometimes with the application, what you will find with men's hair color, you want to push it what because the hair's so short, you want to push it one way and push it back. And that way you're going to get that much better application of color coming through. So pushing like painting the color one way, painting it back will give you a much better distribution of color coming through. So we're wrapping up a little bit. This has been a lot of great information. So thank you, Wayne, for spending your day with us. Um, I'm going to have some, if anybody has additional questions that we haven't covered, or maybe you're joining us late, if you'll just type in the questions box, I am monitoring that right now. And while we've got Wayne with us from the brand, I just think it'd be a perfect opportunity for us to learn as much as possible today so we can jump right in with the service offerings that we're, we're sharing. Well, so. something that something that I've been asked, and I, I just want to cover here, is mm -hmm. that again, if you with with men, you will find that you may need to patch test. You know, the thing is, if the, most men don't have any problems, you know, that they, they, they tend to be a little bit tougher in some respect, skin wise. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can still patch test. There's no there's no difference. You can patch test if you've got anything like that. Another thing that I get asked a lot is all about beard color and eyebrows and things like that. This is not designed really for beards and for eyebrows. Ultimately, no, no hair color is designed to be used on the face. Have I seen it taken down sort of like into sort of like uh, sideburns and things like that? Yes, I have. Um, and it is very effective. But ultimately, that's not something that we would always sell it as. We would always talk about it as a hair color, not a facial hair color. Yes. I mean, like, like you said, we all break the rules. I do it, but you know, it's something you have to be cautious of. You're near the eyes and so forth, you know? Um, and, and of course being a stain, you know, when you're working with beards and such, I mean, that's something you want to consider too, when you're applying, how are you going to do it? How are you going to artistically use a uh, premium product to do the job that you're after, but being careful too, because you know, you, it is a sensitive zone. It's 100%. And I think with something like this, you know, think about your costing because what you want to do is you want to encourage your gentleman to have colour, but don't don't sell it too cheaply because the whole thing is this is an add-on service. This is something that is really going to benefit them. And once they start to see it, you don't want to be selling it at a, at a cost that, you know, isn't, isn't effective for you to be doing it every single time. You want to make sure that they understand that this is a premium product, that they're getting the best results that they can possibly get and it's designed specifically for them. So, so really look at sort of like, you know, as we were talking about for the men's color, the men's club where, you know, they get a cut and, and you know, and the gray blend for a certain price and we're really selling it up that way. Perfect. So we have a ton of really awesome offerings for you as far as getting a package with all the shades and the developer um, that's meant to be used with this. Um, so we, had, you know, we're here. We have up on the screen right now is how to find um, some of these uh, packages and how to start purchasing the product and get it in your hands so that you can quickly start adding this. We are getting near holiday time, so it's a perfect time to add this service on and really, really soar with your with your revenue. And and something from me, when you start to put sort of like when you start to use the color, let's get some photos. It doesn't have to be of sort of like, you know, if gentlemen don't want to put their faces up, that's fine put sunglasses on them. They're going to look cooler with sunglasses on. Let's do some side shots so we can actually see your results because people love to see results. 
They sure do. And, you know, people are still concerned about why you can't color the beard or why. I mean, any hair color line, that's one of the warnings. They just don't want you to do it. But that's sort of a safety net. But, you know, that's that's up to you and what you typically do in your salon. Do people do it? Yes. Um, but what you will find is that every hair color that is designed as a true hair color will always say not to be not to be used on facial hair whatsoever simply because it's just people covering themselves in case it runs into the eyes or runs into the mouth or something like that so right. it's you know if you choose to do it will it work yes it will work would we do it as a company we would never talk about doing it as a, as a company um, simply because if it goes wrong if somebody puts it on with a you know basically a paintbrush a big paintbrush and it goes everywhere there could be adverse effects so ultimately no hair color is designed to be used in the eyes or on faces. Does it work? Of course it works because hair is hair in many respects. But Correct. you just have to be very, very careful with your application, how you're doing it. And if you're going to apply anything on the face, always have them lying down at the base. It's just the easiest way to do it. So um, going back, let's remind them what the mixing ratio was as a, as a reminder to, to wrap this up. Always one part color to one and a half parts activator. So I would always start off with 10, 10 grams of color, 15 mils of your activator, whisk it, like so you form it into a gel because the the, the activator is, is gonna be very liquidy. Once you start to mix them together, you're gonna to get quite a lot of product. And the way it's been designed to work is that a little bit of color will go a very long way. Yes, and always use a scale, please, so you get accurate measurements. Don't just eyeball it, please. <laughs> it's, look, that's the thing. It's like with men, what you want to do is you want to hook them in for life. So, so follow the instructions to begin with so that it's perfect. Yep. And then what you'll find is you're going to be able to increase your, your sell through to all of your clients so much more. It's really going to be that quick and easy hit for them, especially if it's something that's at the basin. It's like let's shampoo you or let's cut you first, then come to the basin with apply the color five minutes it's just a relaxing thing they can do and boom then it's off so it's not any more time for you or for them so and it's even better because they really don't get a line of demarcation when the natural hair grows in it's it's more like it fades gradually and naturally on tone without leaving that strong line of demarcation too that's what it's i found Exactly. It, it fades cool. It doesn't fade warm. And ultimately, that's what is going to get you that business because it's not going to look like they've had colour. Right. And it's it's also recommended, um, there, we're once again getting asked how long it's going to last. So just remind them that it's 20 shampoos and lasts up to four weeks, really, depending on the frequency of that shampooing. But truly, if you're using the right products that's that you wouldn't really get into that mess anyway no exactly and also you find that a lot of men that are sort of like out in the sun or outdoors a lot um, it's not going to fade red or warm on them either and that's really important so when the sunlight hits it they're not going to have that sort of like burgundy or, or reddish reflect to their hair it's going to look very very natural and believable yeah that's what's great about working with a cooler based color line too you know Yep, 100%. And also, this is a great way, once they start to have colour with you, it's a very easy way to then start to sort of introduce shampoos and things like that as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, for sure. And they do. That river mint and peppermint in that detox, I'm telling you, is the way to go for men. Exactly. They love the, the, the effect on the scalp. It has a little tingle and it's like that refreshing, like, let's go, sort of like start in the mm -hmm. morning. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm going to check one more time to see if there's any additional questions, but by all means, please jump into this while it's exciting, hot, and be the be the pioneer of this in your own area, in your demographic. Um, and you can just join us at shop.simplyorganicbeauty.com to find out about any discounts for professionals to get started. And, you know, we are here to help you in any way possible. We can answer all your technical questions, answer formula questions, whatever it may be. We're here to help. So thank you for the exciting opportunity. That, well, it's four shades, one activator, you're getting sort of a multitude of colours out of it, and it's basically opening the door to business. That's what we're doing. We're, we're trying to increase business, and this is going to introduce that. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Hey, thanks for your time. I'm looking forward to hearing all the new offerings that we're coming out with for New Year, too. So thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. All right. You guys, let us know if you need anything. Call 888-213-4744. This has been Wayne and Rebecca here with you sharing about the new Q color from O&M. Happy, yes, happy coloring, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.